This is another video inspired by a conversation from someone uh, that I was doing some dealings with and they happened to be around part of my collection and they noticed up on a shelf I had some uh, some belts of ammunition there on the upper right hand corner there and he called them clips, clips of ammunition and we all know as gun enthusiasts or firearms enthusiasts that difference between a clip and a magazine and I uh, of course told him no those are not clips those are belts magazine belts so we'll get those right out of the way right away but this is of course is uh, a Maxim machine gun belt part of one with uh, 7.62x54R dummy rounds loaded in it so we'll move that one off to the side since we're talking about clips not belts not magazines of course uh, there's another belt that was a non -dis 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 disintegrating belt this is a dis disintegrating belt 50 caliber uh, dummy rounds again but a short strand of the nine yard belt of the disintegrating type but again We'll get that out of the way too. We'll set them off the side. <clears throat> and we'll move some of our stripper clips, on block clips, and moon clips more into the limelight here. Those are the three main types of clips. There are variations on them, such as the half moon clips instead of the full moon clips, which I have there. But Webster defines a, a, a clip, this is taken straight from their dictionary, a device to hold cartridges for charging the magazines of some rifles, a magazine from which ammunition is fed into the chamber of a firearm. So according to Webster, a magazine can also be called a clip. Of course we don't agree with that. We call a clip a clip, a magazine a magazine, a belt a belt to differentiate between what they do. So this is kind of some kind of a fun video on some of them. Um, I'll just go through and show you what I had I happened to grab uh, one of each of the examples in the case of strip clips several. Uh, the most common a lot of people recognize this is the Mosin the Gaunt stripper clip uh, that's seven six two by fifty four surplus ammo in it you can see how they're canted off to the side the on one side and straight on the other that's because the rims are underneath underneath each other and if you always load them with the straight one up that will ensure that the rims are staggered in the correct way so you don't uh, suffer through rim lock when you're um, chambering a new round in your rifle. Other stripper clips include uh, this is an SKS stripper clip, 10 round. You can see quite a bit lar longer, larger. <laughs> in that respect, a lot of fun to look at because it just has a cool look to it. That's for an SKS. These are all stripper clips. Uh, some green tip 223 or actually 556 by 54 the NATO round and you can see this one happens to have an adapter on it and that's for loading the detachable magazine on an AR or an M16 that type of platform separate little piece so you can quickly load straight from your stripper clip straight into the magazine the detachable magazine Um, another stripper clip is going to be very similar surplus ammo this is 8mm Mauser so that's a Mauser stripper clip and yet another interesting stripper clip is this Swiss stripper clip They made out of cardboard, but they're actually quite sturdy, reusable to a point. Um, getting kind of expensive to get anymore, but 
simply insert it into the rifle and then use your thumb thumb to push down through this slot to load the ammo. The K31 rifle, great rifle. We'll do a review on that. I have to have one. And of course it would have been carried in a bag like this. Most uh, most countries had some sort of way of carrying. Of course you can see the Swiss cross on this one designed to hold four of those stripper clips. Of course the Mosin and the Gaunt everybody's pretty familiar with the Mosin and the Gaunt style pouch usually comes as an accessory clip or with, set with as an accessory kit rather and uh, this would be a Mauser this is Yugoslavian designed to hold of course the Mauser rounds that I showed you earlier now we'll quickly move on to the en bloc and yeah that's how it's pronounced again uh, that is it's a French word and it actually means as a unit or as a whole and it's more of a medical term before it became associated with firearms such as if you were doing an autopsy and we're going to remove the digestive system uh, en blanc it meant as a whole or as a unit so these are from an M1 Garand and of course that's what they do they hold your rounds in a block and it's inserted into the magazine held in the gun until it is empty and then it's injected with a nice ping when you uh, such as that when it's ejected um, which we're going to, that'll probably be the next thing I review is uh, an M1 Garand, or Garand, if you prefer. Well, that's the, there are other variations of this, but this happens to be the only variation of that type of on block, not end block, on block uh, clip that I have. I almost call it a magazine. And the last type is the moon clip. This is a 45 auto moon clip. This one's dummy rounds. They are designed to hold a rimless cartridge in a revolver um, without the rim, of course the ejector wouldn't work and they would not headspace correctly. Uh, since a revolver headspaces over the, the rim rather than the case mouth as an auto does, you have to have some way of head spacing it, holding it in, making the ejector work. So they use moon clips. Actually works as a speed reloader. It's great. I have another video on my Smith and Wesson in that this these moon clips are for. Check it out and you can see how they I have some tools that work with these. I just load a bunch of these up before I go to the range and I can shoot all day happily without having to deal with them. I get home that evening or however I want to work it. They do come in half moon clips also, which are just three rounds. It'd be just this clip cut in half, something like that. And you can have two sides. Uh, I suppose it might aid in reloading if you were, or topping off rather. I just you know, I don't have any of those. I obviously don't use them. I just use these full moon clips. So there's the three types of clips real quick. I don't know if there are any others as far as I know. This is the only type of clips there are. Stripper clips, various kinds. On block clips, there, which I say there are other types other than the M1 Grand type. And then moon clips. So, hope that was fun for you. Thanks for watching.